This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hey, good evening everyone. I'm Whitney Clark. Here are the latest stories we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom on this Saturday evening. After a massive fire and train derailment, we've learned that crews will actually have to blow up parts of the bridge over Tempe Town Lake. The demolition will happen tomorrow morning between 7 and 9. Now part of the bridge collapsed. People that live nearby and businesses in the area will actually have to be evacuated during the work. Union Pacific says that the investigation into the derailment is ongoing. Well, some good news tonight when it comes to coronavirus numbers in our state. The average number of daily new cases over the past two weeks has declined by 18%. Here's a quick look at where we stand right now. About 3,000 new cases were announced today, bringing the state total to more than 177,000 known cases. As of today, there have been a little more than 1,100 people hospitalized. Our state's ICU bed capacity is down 1% from last weekend and still sits at 85%. And the state reported another 59 deaths today. We now have more than 3,700 Arizonans who have died from COVID-19 complications. Now, as for testing, one of the state's largest labs still has quite the backlog of tests. Today, roughly 16,000 tests were added to our numbers. That brings the total number of people tested in Arizona to well over 1 million. Our seven day rolling average of the test positive rate is down from last weekend to 18.3% from 24.7%. Arizona Congressman Rule Grijalva says he has tested positive for coronavirus after being tested in DC. He says he has no symptoms and feels fine, but is self isolating. He announced the diagnosis on Twitter and also released this statement. He said, quote, while I cannot blame anyone directly for this, this week has shown that there are some members of Congress who fail to take this crisis seriously. He went on to say that numerous Republican members routinely strut around the Capitol without a mask to selfishly make a political statement at the expense of their colleagues, staff, and their families. Again, that was a quote from Representative Grijalva. Now it's time to take a look at our weather. I don't need to tell you, it was hot out there today. It was hot this entire week. Take a look at this tomorrow, a high of 113, a low of 90. And then as we look forward to Thursday and Friday, a high of 108 on Thursday with a 10% chance uh, of rain, I believe that day. And then Friday, a high of 109. Well, for updates on more stories, you can always download the Arizona's Family News app and check out our app on your Roku device. I'm Whitney Clark. Have a great night.